locker room. Players final few moments. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. We've got Durant, Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Joe Harris. And it's Griffin in at the five, Roman the paint. And for Indiana, Sabonis and Turner up front. Karis LeVert is out there with Brogdon. And it's Warren in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Harden. He dishes it to Griffin. Durant kicks to Harden. Pass to Griffin. Nets passing it around. Six to shoot. Releases. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Deep benches tonight, Greg, on both sides. This seems to be a growing trend. You know, teams are digging deeper than ever before. Even getting into the two-way contracts that give you depth past your top 15 guys. One, you're trying to protect the investment in your big ticket items, your franchise caliber players. But you got to keep an eye on the future in terms of player development. That's a, another area where the league has really changed when you look at the makeup of these rosters. You know, that goes back, I think, to playing with LeBron in their Cleveland days. Kyrie learned how to operate without the ball sunk. Outside, Sabonis. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Brogdon. No good there. Good D by Harden. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here's Brogdon. Indiana again missing. Here's Harris. Again, the Nets for two. Oh, great ball movement there. For Indiana, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Lavert against Irving. Lavert with it. Brogdon outside. Halt the run. Hits it from three-point range. Boy, Lavert showing you his unselfishness there. I mean, if you're open, he loves getting you the ball. And that does it for the first quarter. Brooklyn ahead. They lead by six. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Indianapolis. And recently, Kevin Durant discussed what they have to face night in and night out. I think we get a lot of teams' best shot in the first half, where they, you know, hitting on all cylinders, playing good brand of ball, moving fast, playing great defense. And I feel like we are at that level. And, Greg, it's one of the great challenges of being one of the teams to beat. But that's the difference with a superstar like Durant. He can give you elite play from start to finish. Lesser guys can do that only in spurts. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the next performance here, guys, uh, what jumps out to you stats-wise? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Nets. Out out there with Green. Then it's Harden, and it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard position. Here's McConnell, guarded by Harden. And the rejection by Harden. The shot by Turner, no good. Brooklyn leading by 10. Here's Brown. The rebound by Holiday. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Pacers. And the pass to McConnell. 43 seconds left to play here in the half. McDermott with it, working on Green. Nets have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Here's Dinwiddie, and he goes in for the dunk. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. 
The Nets have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Here's Harden. Hits from the high post. Harden's got the lead up to 12 now for the Nets. And the mid-range game of Harden, excellent. An offensive genius, really. I mean, knows exactly where to get the looks that he wants. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And so that brings the first half to a close. Nets lead by 10. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basket. It's Brooklyn out in front at the half. They lead by 10. And over to Shaq. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. And even with the defense shading towards him on every trip down, he still finds a way to come up big. Well, we're not surprised by that. No more than what we've come to expect of him. He can adapt and adjust to anything a defense tries to throw at. Sabonis and Turner up front. Lavert out there with Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Warren in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now here's Lavert. And that's just terrific positioning on his part to get that board. I mean, he might not have the size, but his basketball IQ and feel is off the charts. Well, Irvin can shoot it with little warning. I mean, he's just that quick. No time to contest if you're not there before the shot. It's Brogdon on the wing, guarded by Harden. And that one's good, Brogdon. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. And here's Harris from the arc. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harris has got five points so far. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. Brogdon the pass to Turner. Indiana moving it around. Now here's Durant. Here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. Ferociousness from Harden. Looking like he wants to tear the rim off. Pacers trail by 16. Rodden finds Warren. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third. Count it. Good. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean... He's a threat every time up the floor. Here's KD. Again, the Nets for two. Methodical and productive from mid-range. Few players in the NBA shoot it like Kevin Durant. Irving against LeVert. A three. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Brooklyn with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They've been playing some fur. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Setting the floor for the Nets. Durant is out there with Green. Then there's Brown. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Harris in at the three. Rodden looking it over. Harris against Warren. Pass to Brissette. Five on the clock. Back to Warren. There's the triple. They get it back. Count it. Sabonis has got his first bucket of the night. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Nets. 
In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for James Harden. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. Outside Irving. Over Lamb. That misses off the backboard. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Brogdon kicks to Lamb. Brogdon against Brown. Basket good. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Pass to Green. Dishes it to Irving over Lamb. Again, Irving missing. Rodden against Brown. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. It's nice to see when Brogdon doesn't settle for the layup. Instead, going in there to finish with power. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how